Hello and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News, and let's go ahead and jump right into the updates for this uh, week. There were two updates available, uh, the new iMovie update, which I have a completely um, separate video for that, I'll have a link in the description, but then there was also this digital camera RAW compatibility update. This update basically added additional RAW image compatibilities to these cameras here that are listed below. Um, moving on, let's just go straight into the news story portion of this video. And uh, there's been a lot of talk regarding the March event that's coming up in the keynote for Apple. This should be at the beginning of March. No official date has been released of what day it will be or what time, but it is coming up. February, March, of course, it's it's got a whole another month, so it's not like it's gonna be right away. But uh, this is an article here, I'll have a link in the description as well, but it talks about some of the items that we'll see coming in or should be announced or even revealed within the actual March event. And I personally, um, I think they might even announce something like uh, completely unexpected. And I'm, I'm honestly hoping they do this. It's rumored here that we may not even know what's really coming out besides the things like iPad Air like 3 and then the iPhone 5 SE, the 4 inch, and besides the actual Apple Watch and their additional uh, new items to it. But I'm really excited and looking forward to that keynote. And I'll keep reminding you guys of that uh, March uh, keynote so that you guys can keep stated, updated on that as well. And uh, also, the <laughs> this is Apple likely to but iPad Air 3. Um, new Apple Watch models revealed. There's also, like, if you look at this right here, models for the Apple Watch, they're including other bands. So two items that you will definitely see in the March event are is the new 4-inch iPhone, the, the iPhone 5SE, and then the new Apple Watch bands as well. Moving on, we do have the Apple releases iOS 9.3 public beta. If you're part of that, you can sign up online through the Apple website as well. But uh, with the beta, they just released, uh, it's a, it was just a new <laughs> mini release, basically, the night shift mode, <clears throat> and which allows you to basically dim the screen in order to put it like in night mode. It's easier on your eyes, it's supposed to help you sleep, and it's supposed to actually save battery as well. <clears throat> and it is found right in your control center just swipe up and it will be right there, the little eye looking icon, and you can turn on night shift mode. Moving on, we do have Apple says they fixed a bug that was crashing Safari. Basically, on your iPhone, iPod, or um, iPad, if you're using the browser, the Safari browser, and you're searching, at times, the browser would completely crash when you were searching. And uh, I personally have not had any issues with this. But Apple is stated that they have officially resolved this issue, and uh, I'm interested to see if you guys ever had this issue. Uh, maybe because I mainly use my laptop to use the browser, I don't do much searching on my actual phone. But yeah, I just thought this was interesting, I thought I would throw it in there as well. And last but not least, I do have an app here, it's called Cakewalk, and it basically, it's like another athletic type of fitness app. And it's like, you're, this, is the, this is the way they describe their app. But it's like if your annoying roommate was a fitness tracking app. Basically, it kind of nags you and it tries to keep you going and uh, stay active, stay fit. And I'm not, <laughs> this is just, uh, I thought this was an interesting app I saw. And uh, it was uh, trendy. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next week and later. So let my life be the proof, the proof of your